We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. Radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. People uh, were conned by uh, the former president. Uh, they were conned into believing that the election had been stolen uh, and that they should go to the Capitol as the president asked them to. They were conned out. I think the average donation from those email, uh, false email requests was something like $17. These were people who weren't rich people. They were, they were conned by the president. It was a big lie and it was also a big ripoff. And you say you were just asked, um, I think by Manu Raju, uh, if the committee has found evidence that Trump and his family, quote, personally benefited, yes. personally benefited from donations. And you said, yes, that's a serious allegation. Do you have more details? Is that a crime? I don't know. I, you know, we're a legislative committee, so that's that's for somebody else to decide. Uh, but for example, we know that um, Guilfoyle was paid uh, for the introduction she gave at the speech, I mean, on January 6th, she received compensation for that. But is that a, is that a crime? I'm not saying it's a crime, but I think it's a grift. It's a grift, because you're, you're telling Trump people, Trump supporters out there in the hinterlands, keep, give us money to... To, uh, to, um, to, to go to court to defend right. this election when, in fact... And then instead, I, Kim Guilfoyle, who is Don Trump Jr.'s fiance, gets paid money for... $60,000 60, oh for God. Two, two and a half minutes. Um, you had uh, money going to uh, Mark Meadows Foundation and to another foundation that hired the Trump supporters who'd lost their jobs. So it wasn't what he said to his donors. This is to defend the election. It was an entirely different purpose. I think that was deceptive and uh, not right. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was deceptive and not right. It was a grift and it was fraud. It was fraud. And if any of the donors who gave money to the Trump Save America PAC based on the emails that you received saying that you were contributing to an election fraud, uh, you know, to uh, some sort of a, a fund to help pay for the court costs to go challenge the results of elections, and you gave money to, you know, you can uh, now sue. You understand that? You can sue <laughs> because it was a grift. It was fraud. It was absolute fraud. Now, I don't know if they'll uh, prosecute uh, this grift. I don't know if they will or not, but obviously we have consumer laws that, um, you know, uh, apply to even Donald Trump. Remember, Donald Trump had a university called Trump University, and it was a complete and utter fraud, right? Uh, the Trump Foundation was a charity, and it was a complete and utter fraud. And the Justice Department had to close down the Trump Foundation while Trump was president. So uh, this should not surprise as much as it should uh, irritate and uh, upset people who gave money to this uh, campaign, the, these emails. Sometimes they sent 25 emails a day asking people to make donations. Um, and he, he blasted out literally millions, millions of emails. And as it turns out, the grift, the, the big lie, generated $250 million for Donald Trump. Just let that sit there for just a brief moment. It generated $250 million for the official Trump Election Defense Fund, except there was no such fund. So you know what some of your money paid for? Um, you remember uh, the former senator from South Carolina? By the way, you're having uh, primaries today, South Carolina. Go, go vote. Go vote. It's, you know, I, I have no horse in this race. It's a completely Republican thing. It's South Carolina, for God's sake. <laughs> but remember your former senator, Jim DeMint? Okay, so Jim DeMint left the Senate, and he moved over to this charitable foundation called the Conservative Partnership Institute, which sounds uh, very official. 
Yeah, it, 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 the chairman of <laughs> the Conservative Partnership Institute is Jim DeMint, the former senator from South Carolina. And when you were donating to the election fraud fund, when you were uh, donating cash to help Donald Trump defray the costs of going to court for Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis and, and the rest, uh, Sidney Powell and all that, really what you were doing was you were paying Jim DeMint's $500,000 a year salary. That's where $500,000 of this quarter of a billion went to. That's just a piece of it. This is so disgusting. Yeah, Jim, Jim DeMint, his annual salary, $500,000, according to the most recent uh, 990, which is a, the IRS form. Another million went to a conservative organization that employs several Trump washouts, uh, several people who uh, you know left the Trump administration. They moved into something called the America First Policy Institute, and these fundraising emails that were supposed to be paying for the, the court challenges <laughs> was actually going to them to pay their salaries. $204,857 went to the Trump Hotel collection. <laughs> and $5 million went to the company that uh, put on the January 6th event called Event Strategies, Inc. $5 million. Drain the swamp, everybody. Drain the swamp. Here's Chuck Rosenberg explaining it a little bit better. If investors or donors were told one thing, for instance, Stephanie, if I told you that you should donate to my fund because I'm going to invest it for you or I'm going to uh, use it for a certain purpose, and that induces you to give me money, and I don't do what I promised you I would do with it, that's a fraud. And it looks like that happened to the tune of $250 million with oh tens of thousands of donors. You recall that Steve Bannon, another grifter, <laughs> was indicted, ultimately pardoned by Trump, but indicted for a very similar scheme, the Build the Wall scheme, in which he induced people to part with their money to build a wall on the southern border. And the money that they raised went to uh, Bannon and his co-conspirators' personal use. That seems to be what's going on here. So you follow the money. And here, if you follow the money, it goes from donors who were induced to part with it based on a series of lies uh, to PACs and foundations and ultimately to members of the Trump family and their friends. Mm. And that's a crime. And now, I don't know who concocted the scheme. I don't know who wrote the pitch. I don't know who authorized the emails. But I could tell you, if I was still in the Justice Department, those are precisely the questions I would be asking, because this has all the makings of a financial fraud. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking, I tell you. Yes, it's shy. So, so Stephanie, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kimberly Gulfoyle, who is uh, Junior's fiance. Uh, she got $60,000. She was paid from, I'm guessing, Event Strategies, Inc., who took $5 million from this fund that you thought you were giving to to help Donald Trump go to court <laughs> for a fraudulent lie that the election was stolen in the first place. In the second place, you were doubly lied to because they said, oh, now we need money to go file in court and we have to pay Rudy and we have to pay Sidney Powell. But really, you were paying Kimberly Gulfoyle uh, $60,000 to give a two-minute speech on January 6th at the January 6th Save America rally. You paid her. You paid Senator Jim DeMint half a million dollars. You paid for the Trump Hotel collection. I, I don't even know what you paid for there. Did you pay for hotel rooms for what? I don't know what you even paid for there. And then you paid... Uh, Trump administration officials who left the Trump administration, who then went over to something called the First Policy Institute for a job, and you paid their salaries there instead of your dollars that you thought you were getting. I mean, this is such a scam. It's such a fraud. It's so Trump. But this is something for you to know that you can sue over. 